Now on Coast TV News. It's a comfortable start to our 4th of July, but it gets hot and humid starting today and lasting into the rest of the holiday weekend. I'll track the heat for the holiday coming up next. All eyes have been on a barrel. Now the Category 5 hurricane could be heading towards parts of the U.S. The day is here. It's Independence Day. Many people expected to head to Delmarva to celebrate. So we're looking at road conditions to help you prepare no matter what your holiday plans are. President Joe Biden is facing mounting pressure to address his viability for another term in office. We have the latest. This is Coast TV News Today. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, July 4th, 2024. I'm Paige Marley. Happy Independence Day, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, we know that you've been planning your events and activities for a while now, but maybe, of course, you need to know if the weather is going to be good for whatever you're doing. So we are going to bring in First Alert meteorologist Bob Trahi this hour. Bob, pretty good 4th of July uh, forecast, huh? I think so. You know, it's going to be hot and humid, but then again, it's a 4th of July page and, you know, we can expect that and maybe a stray shower for fireworks this evening. But aside from that, I think we're in good shape for your outdoor festivities by the pool, by the ocean, all the cookouts and stuff. 60s and low 70s to start our force, so not too bad. A little milder than it has been because we have a southerly breeze right now. We do have some clouds coming through, but nothing in the way of rain. And I think the day is going to be dry, just becoming hot and humid as high pressure that kept us dry and comfortable for a few days is now sliding offshore. And we have that strong southerly flow that will bring in the heat and humidity. And the heat dome is building back to our west, and that will be with us all week. Weekend. So future cast warming us quickly through the 70s this morning by noon into the mid to upper 80s. Maybe you're in the pool cranking up the grill. Yeah, it's going to be a perfect weather for that and 70s along the coast. So a little cooler at the beaches around 330 Bethany Beach 74 Fenwick Island 73, but then 80s and lower 90s inland and we'll see some clouds from time to time and maybe stray shower as we get ready for the fireworks. UV index today have that higher SPF handy. It's a 10. Burn time is only 10 minutes and we're in that very high range. So make sure you have the higher SPF over 30. Find the midday shade, have a floppy hat and stay inside if you can. And also avoid the sun late morning into early afternoon. Will do, Bob. Thank you so much. Parts of Mexico and southern Texas are getting ready as Hurricane Barrel barrels northwest. It's likely to be in fairly open waters by this afternoon. Forecasters expect Barrel to spend most of tomorrow in the Yucatan, probably weakening over land, but then they say it could pick up power again in the Gulf of Mexico. After that, Barrel could hit Texas and or northern Mexico. We are now going to take a live look at the Bay Bridge because many cars, of course, are expected to cross over the Bay Bridge for the busy holiday weekend. Right now, still a little early. We checked in last hour. Of course, we see more trucks and cars from last hour, but that doesn't say a lot because we only see about two trucks on the bridge. I will be taking that bridge tomorrow. My plan, get on it as early as possible. I hope you have the same plans. Now, while we're talking holiday travel, starting today, according to AAA, nearly 71 million Americans will be on the move this weekend. A staggering 60 million of those people are expected to make their trip in their car. So if you're one of the many people hitting the roads or over the next few days, maybe today as well, AAA says the best time to travel is before noon. The worst time going to be between 2 and 7. So basically, the earlier or the later you go, the better. Usually travel late at night um, from Virginia, uh, around 8 or 9 o'clock at night. And we don't seem to have too much troubles getting into Delaware. And there are multiple closures as well all over the coast in preparation for fireworks displays and all of that. So we have some information for that for you now. So in the nation's summer capital, watching fireworks from the beach on July 6th, that'll be at dusk. Where Hobeth Avenue eastbound and Church Street from State Route 1 will be closed to traffic. Beginning at 8, cars entering Rehoboth Beach, you'll have to enter through State Road to Bayard Avenue. In Ocean City, they will have two fireworks displays tonight. Looking forward to that. You can view one display at Northside Park and the Bay, the other display at Caroline Street. The events will both kick off at 8 with music, and then they'll be followed by those fireworks at 9.30. The inlet parking lot will be open. The parking rate will be increased, however, to $5 an hour for the day. Several locations will be closed for parking. Those can all be found on our website, coasttv.com. Now heading to Bethany Beach, if you're celebrating the 4th of July there, the town says the trolley service will not be operating from 11 a.m. until 3 o'clock. That's due to the parades and the expected crowds. 
Overall, they also say expect longer wait times. Sussex County has released their DUI checkpoint location and times for the holiday weekend. Drivers should know that there will be a checkpoint on Route 24 near Millsboro. This checkpoint will be from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. on both July 5th and the 6th. Also, Maryland State Police, they're taking measures to keep roads safe. According to state police, troopers will be ramping up their patrols as well throughout the weekend. Troopers from Salisbury, Berlin, and Easton Barracks will increase their patrols specifically on routes 50, 13, and 413. And of course, with an expected increase in people drinking alcohol over the next couple of days, MSP's also recommending make sure you designate a sober driver, consider public transit, or rideshare services. This does now all bring us to our Coast TV poll. We've been asking you, how do you usually celebrate the 4th of July on the coast? So far, 53% of you say, yeah, you're just going to stay home. I kind of get it. That's what I'm doing too, only because I go to bed early. So maybe you guys all just go to bed early. 27% of you are going to have a barbecue. Good idea. 8% going to a parade. Great idea. 9% fireworks. You know it. Also a great idea. 3% of you the beach. I get that. It's busy. Maybe you're going to wait a couple more days to go to the beach. If you haven't voted yet, you still can. Go to coasttv.com or you can vote on our app. Well, in just a span of four days, two serious crimes took place at businesses that are really just minutes away from each other on Coastal Highway. First was Friday, June 28th. Delaware State Police say a man was shot in the leg at the Big Chill Surf Cantina parking lot. This happened around 1 a.m. And then two days later, the suspect in that crime was arrested. And then Monday, July 1st, this was around 12.35 p.m., a man was arrested for following a woman in the Walmart in the Rehoboth Mall. He also had a stolen vehicle. One local told Coast TV that these situations are getting very scary. I find it shocking that that happened here. Um, we moved here for some quiet and peace and whatever, and um, to happen in the same area, that it, it's shocking. And also notable is a sexual assault that police say happened just a few minutes away on Rehoboth Beach. This one was June 19th near Brooklyn Avenue. The victim, who's a minor, was taken to the hospital, treated, later released. Rehoboth Beach police told Coast TV that events like this are rare in the nation's summer capital. A suspect in that sexual assault case has still not been named or found. The Office of the Marijuana Commissioner is warning Delawareans now about out-of-state scammers targeting social equity applicants. The office says entities may be trying to trick you into paying for help securing a license. So if you didn't know, the license helps those who had been convicted under past marijuana laws. We have some tips from officials on how to protect yourself. First, don't pay upfront fees for licensing help. Be very cautious of unsolicited offers and make sure you check the office's website or if you're confused at all, just contact them directly for information. Well, we know Delaware has received a number of grants, but there are also some concerns that one organization may be misusing their funds. Code Purple Kent County is an organization aimed at providing resources and help to those in need. But at the beginning of June, a state auditor wrote a letter to Attorney General Kathy Jennings with concerns there may be potential fraud. You can see that letter on our website, coasttv.com. President Biden, he is found facing mounting pressure to address his viability for another term in office. The Biden-Harris campaign, as well as the White House team, they're continuing to shut down rumors that Biden's considering stepping aside to make way for another Democratic nominee. CNN's Cheryl Hubbard shows us now how the Democrats are rallying behind the president and how Republicans are reacting to his debate performance. Nearly a week after this election year's first presidential debate, He's the worst president in the history of our country. What are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. President Joe Biden can't seem to live his debate performance down. Hi. Um, is President Biden considering stepping down? Absolutely, absolutely not. For the second day in a row, the White House held a briefing to explain Biden's debate performance and dispel claims that Biden is contemplating quitting the race. The team claimed Biden's debate performance was a result of being jet lagged from his travel schedule and they said he had a cold on debate day. It was a bad night. We understand that it was a bad night. Um, and the president has spoken to this. And he understands that. Biden himself conceded at a rally Friday that he is up in age. I know I'm not a young man. I don't deba debate as well as I used to. 
And while politicians on both sides of the aisle have called for him to step aside. I think everyone can see the objective fact that we have been discussing here for, for a long, long time that President Biden is not up to the job. The president and the vice president met with Democratic governors Wednesday in a post-meeting press conference. Governor spokespersons representing the governors said they stick beside him. The president is our nominee. The president is our party leader. And the president has told us, and he was very clear back there, that he is in this to win this. I'm Sherelle Hubbard reporting. Well, we're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News today. Still more to get to this morning. The annual Lewis Boat Parade is taking place today, and preparations are already underway. We're going to show you what you can expect in Lewis and some other events this Independence Day weekend. And local authors acclaim. We're telling you about the national recognition one Rehoboth Beach author is receiving with his new book. And a Salisbury shed situation, what police are saying caused the damage you see right there in Salisbury. We have all that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Macy's 4th of July fireworks. Live tonight, 8, 7 central on NBC and Peacock. I can't wait to see what I'm capable of. Wow. Oh, baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome back, Simone Biles. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same-day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water, or maybe into some hot water if that's your issue. Same-day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877-CALL-FUR, FHFUR.com. Turn your dreams of a perfect kitchen into reality with That Cabinet Store, where a dedicated team of designers will bring your vision to life. Whether it's traditional or European, kitchen design is our specialty. And we can get your fully customized kitchen cabinets installed in as little as four weeks, semi-custom in 10 days. And if you're looking for new countertops, we offer quality in-house fabricated countertops. Dream today, designs for tomorrow at That Cabinet Store. Located with Matt the Carpet Guy in Selbyville and Salisbury. So here we go. Oh, he is blasted out there, but now he hits Top Gear. Put out the surge of her career. Way out in front of the field. Pulling away from the rest of the pack. And it's a world record again. And the American is passing by everybody. There you there go. go. What a performance. Unbelievable. Always bad. That's dominance by the United States. Six fourteen on this Independence Day morning in a beautiful shot on our Boardwalk Plaza cam. Sun reemerging from the clouds. And look at that, a cargo ship out in the distance. Just a gorgeous shot on this Thursday morning. Temperature-wise, 60s and low 70s out the door. We've got a southerly breeze that will be kicking that humidity in and heat with time. And we are seeing a mix of sun and clouds as we go through the day. Looking great for your fourth, but it does get hot by the afternoon. And if your travels do take you to the golf course, make sure you stay hydrated with water. It'll be excellent. Otherwise, 91, partly cloudy, hot and humid, but feeling more like mid 90s with the humidity. All right, Bob, thank you so much. This morning, police continue to investigate a shed fire in Salisbury. We're showing you the damage there on your screen. According to police, this has been deemed arson by two people under the age of 18. The Maryland State Fire Marshal says no injuries reported and the damage that's estimated at $8,500. Arrests are pending. Right now, a sinkhole causing delays on the Route 90 bridge in Ocean City. The Ocean City Police Department posted on Facebook that those delays are expected on the eastbound side from Route 589 and the westbound side from 62nd Street onto Route 90. They say the highway will be open during repairs, but undergo a one-lane traffic flow. So police are suggesting using Routes 50 and 54 as alternative routes. The land we're going to show you now on your screen is where developers want to build a new townhouse development in Lewis. The proposed development would be on the east side of Savannah Road near BB Healthcare. So here's what we know so far. The Oscar H. Jr. and Thelma Warrington trustees submitted a preliminary land use service. That's also known as a PLUS application in May. 
Going by the project name Overfall Preserve, the development would contain 90 townhouse units with amenities like a clubhouse and a pool. According to the PLUS application, the Overfall Preserve's market is aimed at entry-level and market-rate homeowners. We have more details on this proposal on CoastTV.com. A former Boeing inspector is alleging scrap parts were used on the assembly lines at the 787 Dreamliner factory in Everett, Washington. Merrill Myers worked as a quality control manager at Boeing for 30 years, and he estimates that beginning in the early 2000s, about 50,000 parts deemed unsuitable to fly were taken out of the internal scrapyard and then used to build aircraft. Myers claims this was all done in order to meet production deadlines. General Motors is getting hit with a nearly $146 million fine connected to excessive CO2 emissions. The Environmental Protection Agency and the U.S. Department of Transportation said almost 6 million older SUVs and pickups under GM's Chevrolet brand were emitting more than 10 percent higher emissions than reported. In addition to that penalty, GM agreed to cancel millions of metric ton greenhouse gas credits it received for complying with federal rules. Still ahead this morning, a local author's acclaim how national recognition has shown a light on restaurant businesses in Rehoboth Beach. Yesterday at this time it was foggy in Laurel, but today visibility is much better as we've got a breeze and mixing things up. And that breeze brings in hot air and building heat and humidity through the 4th of July and the holiday weekend. A few chances for showers and storms, not a washout. Your forecast details for the holiday coming up in two minutes. Rules don't apply when it comes to designing your home or business's interior. At Mood Design Studio, we break away from typical design norms to craft one-of-a-kind spaces that belong on the pages of a magazine. Choose from a bold selection of exclusive wallpaper designs and fabrics, plus a curated selection of furniture making any room a showstopper. Need guidance? We'll assist you in planning your space's scope and budget for a streamlined, stress-free experience. For a complimentary consultation, visit Mood Design Studio in Lewis today. Scrambler, Ferris wheel, oyster sandwiches. The Hebron Fireman's Carnival is here. Bingo is ready to go and funnel cakes are ready to eat. Stop by for a family tradition of fun with rides, food and games. Plus, this year the fire department is raffling off a candy electric golf cart with trailer. Hebron Fireman's Carnival. Kitchen opens at 6.30, rides at 7.15. Go to HebronVFD.com for dates and times. Hebron Fireman's Carnival, located on Main Street next to the firehouse in Hebron. The weather is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction. Born here to serve here. When it comes to protecting your home, don't take chances with just anyone. Trust the experts at Spicer Brothers. Join thousands of satisfied customers who've chosen us for our exceptional service, quality installation, and unbeatable warranties. Whether you need a roof replacement or just want to upgrade the look of your home, we've got you covered. And right now, save up to 20% on your new roof. Plus, enjoy no interest and no payments until 2026. For a roof that's done right, trust Spicer Brothers day and night. Because you deserve the best. It's now 619 on your Thursday morning. We are going to take a live look right now at Lewis. And whether you're swimming in the bay, the beach, a pool, Bob, we looked it up. We think that like no swimming after you eat within a certain amount of time thing is a myth. I know. I just looked that up, Paige, and it said that's a myth, that it's not true that you can eat after you, you can swim after you eat, and that, in fact, it's good energy to stay afloat with food that you have inside, you know, if you're swimming. So, who knew? I, yeah, so I, I guess that's the way it is. If you are out at the pool today and maybe grilling by the pool, it is going to be a beautiful day. Temperatures quickly rising through the 70s and 80s. 91 for the high today, hot and humid. So make sure that pool water is just a little cooler. Our temperatures now, not too bad. 60s and low 70s, 70, 70 in Georgetown, 68 in Del Mar. Salisbury, 69 and 69 in Bethany Beach right now. Winds have turned to the south and that 
that will introduce that heat and humidity as we go through the day. Right now, just some clouds floating through, and that'll be the case for today. A mix of sun and clouds as we have high pressure beginning to slide away in the flow around that high coming out of the south, bringing in that heat and humidity. There are some showers back to our west, but I think they're going to dry up before they get here. We're looking at that heat dome building back to our west, and that settles over us for the upcoming weekend. Future cast this morning has us in the 70s. You see the clouds floating through from time to time. We'll see sun as well already in the 80s by mid morning and by one o'clock firing up the grill, getting ready for the beach and the pool, looking at upper 80s around Selbyville to Georgetown, 89 Del Mar, but 70s from Bethany Beach to about Dewey Beach, and those will be your highs there today, low to mid 70s, while we have upper 80s in Georgetown and Millsboro as we go into the evening hours, and then 7.30, we're getting ready for the fireworks, and we're seeing clouds, and we could see a stray shower, but I think around fireworks time, 70s and low 80s, mostly cloudy skies, light winds, so it should be pretty good. It's a mild and muggy start to our Friday and a hot afternoon, lower 90s as we go into the inland areas and 70s at the coast and a very warm night as we go into Friday night and Saturday morning and another hot day for Saturday. Temperatures in the lower 90s. Looks like a better chance of some showers and storms getting going in the afternoon. Maybe some heavy rain with those. Feels like temperatures low to mid 90s today and then feeling like lower triple digits Friday afternoon and then again Saturday afternoon. So you really have to be careful those two days. Not as bad on Sunday, but still hot. Here's Hurricane Barrel uh, nearing the Cayman Islands right now. Not as strong as it was, 120 mile per hour winds, but it continues to move to the west and could make landfall near Belize on the Yucatan as a Category 1 hurricane reemerges back into the Gulf as a tropical storm and then maybe a Category 1 storm before it makes landfall somewhere near South Texas as we go into early next week. Here's your Paul Davis seven day forecast. Lower 90s basically right through the holiday weekend. Dry today, that stray shower tonight, isolated storm on Friday, and then a better chance of maybe some heavier rain and storms on Saturday night. Not looking at severe weather. It dries out Sunday and Monday, but still warm and looks like more storm chances Tuesday and Wednesday and right around 90 degrees. Bob, thank you so much. A hometown author's newest book already reaching national acclaim, and it takes place here at home. The Same Bright Stars by Ethan Joella is about a family-owned restaurant contemplating a sale. It's a book about deciding your next chapter, and it's all set in Rehoboth Beach, where Joella lives. Joella, who's part of the Today Show's Read with Jenna Book Club and popular subscription service Book of the Month, says this is a dream come true. So it's really, it's really exciting because I just always want it to base a book in Rehoboth because it just has that perfect landscape for all kinds of different um, terrain because it has uh, the coast, that has the country, it has the downtown like this. Um, and I just love living here so much. So this has really been my love letter to the town. And we asked Joella if Del Dine, that's the restaurant group in the book offering to buy Schmitz, was based on any specific conglomerate. He said no. He believes both restaurant groups and small mom and pop shops can work together and help Rehoboth Beach. Coming up on Coast TV News today, a boat parade prep is underway in Lewis. What one judge is saying about a special blast from the past expected at this year's event. Coast TV News today. We'll be right back. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Independence Day, fireworks, ballpark classics, and shorebirds baseball. Nothing can get better than that. Join the Shorebirds at Purdue Stadium Thursday, July 4th for the biggest, greatest, and most unforgettable fireworks show of the season with the Shorebirds special Independence Day fireworks extravaganza after the game presented by Spicer Bros Construction, Inc. Tickets are selling fast, so don't forget to save time. Buy your tickets online at theshorebirds.com slash tickets. 18 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Your roof is the first line of defense against the elements, but is ready for the next storm? If it's time for a new roof, call Hershey Exteriors. As a GAF Master Elite contractor, we offer the industry's best warranty. 
Our roofs come with a Golden Pledge 50-year warranty on materials and a 25-year workmanship warranty that is backed by GAF. Call Hershey Exteriors, your trusted roofing pros, and get 0% financing for 12 months because life is sweeter with Hershey Exteriors. Bring your blankets and lawn chairs to Red, White & Boom. A free community fireworks celebration at James M. Bennett High in Salisbury. Enjoy food vendors, entertainment for the entire family, and of course, one of Delmarva's most spectacular fireworks shows. Fireworks begin at 9.15. And listen to Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 for a special presentation during the fireworks display. For more information, go to coastcountry.com. Today, many people will be lining up on the banks on each side of the canal in Lewis. 40 to 50 boats will parade from the Roosevelt Inlet up to the drawbridge and then back again. The parade begins at 1.30. Judges will be awarded first, second, and third place plaques by the Overfalls Lightship at 3.30. The event raises money for the Overfalls Foundation. Mayor Andrew Williams will be the MC, and we caught up with one of the judges and boat parade chairs to see what we can expect from the event this year flags and um, all sorts of different themes. People get very creative. Um, in, in fact, the uh, Lewis Historical Society will feature two boats uh, going back to the period of 1812. Sounds like a lot of fun. Of course, there's even more happening in Lewis for Independence Day. Children's games on 2nd Street begin at 9. The Doodah Parade is around 4.30 to 5 p.m and fireworks, those launch at dusk. Well, it's gonna be a lot of fun today. Barbecues, beaches, pools, talking a little bit of everything, Bob. And the good news is you have a great beach forecast for all of it. I do, and it's all the things we do on Independence Day, right, Paige? And uh, all in all, a great looking 4th of July for the outdoor activities. And at the beaches, Assateague and Chincoteague, you're in the 70s, and then right around 80 for Chincoteague later on, maybe a little cooler in Assateague with upper 70s. Rip current threat is low, but it's not zero, so be extra careful out there. Fenwick Island in Ocean City, you're in the 70s to around 80 in Ocean City and lower 80s in Fenwick Island with a mix of sun and clouds. Next three days, pretty hot in Cambridge, lower 90s, maybe some storms Friday, especially Saturday. And Chrisfield, you're in the 80s to lower 90s through the holiday weekend. Better chance of storms on Saturday. Don't think it'll be a washout, however. I'll have much more on your holiday forecast coming up. Bob, thank you so much. Also, coming up after the break, a firework frenzy where you can watch all those displays light up the sky across Del Marva. And holiday travel traffic, we're telling you what experts say are the best times to get on the road en route to your holiday destination. And people in the southern part of our country, they're buckling down for Hurricane Barrel, where that storm is headed right now. Coast TV News Today will be right back. Shower glass. Our name says it all. We provide the best custom shower glass on the shore in a fraction of the time, and our reviews prove it. Shower glass delivers the best fit, finish, and fastest service. Reliable scheduling, competitive pricing, the best in the business. They're the only one we call for shower glass. Frameless beauty with speed, accuracy, and lifetime warranties. Shower glass, it's all we do. Visit showerglassdoors.net to schedule your free consultation. Join us for the 4th of July sales event right here at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Save $16,000 off MSRP on a new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Freedom 4x4. Or lease a new 2024 Jeep Compass Limited for just $3.99 a month. See our selection of hundreds of Jeeps online at MillsboroCJR.com. During the 4th of July holiday, get a free Grizzly cooler with every vehicle purchase. Join us for the 4th of July sales event at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Cars cost less with Preston. When it comes to building your new home, don't settle for anything less than the best. Bay to Beach Builders is your trusted source for experience, quality, and design. Our team of experts work with you from start to finish to create your dream home. Expect an elevated customer experience with home visualizers, virtual home tours, and technology-inspired selections in our design studios. Visit one of our two convenient locations in Greenwood and Ocean View, or visit baytobeachbuilders.com. Your new home journey is a click away. Show a hard-working woman in your life the appreciation they deserve with Working Woman Wednesdays. 
could be your mother, your wife, a coworker, or any woman you know. Nominate them for a chance to win a special prize pack. Go to WBOC1025.com, fill out a short form, and tell us why they are so special and deserve to be honored. Then join me, Stinson, every Wednesday as I announce that week's winner. Working Woman Wednesdays, only on 1025 WBOC. Now on Cooks TV News. It's a comfortable start to our 4th of July, but it gets hot and humid starting today and lasting into the rest of the holiday weekend. I'll track the heat for the holiday coming up. Preparing for travel, we're helping you get to your destination with updates on road conditions and closures as we head into the holiday weekend. Code Purple concerns what we know after one person came forward with concerns of misused funds. And another woman comes forward against Sean Diddy Combs, which she says happened in the ninth lawsuit against the rapper. This is Coast TV News Today. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us as we continue this morning. I'm Paige Marley, and happy 4th of July. It is 631 this morning, and no matter what you're planning for today, the weather should be spectacular. So we are going to bring back in the spectacular Bob Trihe. And Bob, I know you said maybe a chance of showers later today, but we shouldn't cancel any plans, right? No, absolutely not. And I think that shower chance page could happen maybe about 9, 10 p.m., a few showers around fireworks time. But the rest of the day is gorgeous and a beautiful start to the day with 60s and low 70s out the door. And we've got a southerly breeze right now, and that is bringing in more of that humidity and eventually the heat later today. As you can see on clouds and radar, we've got some clouds that are floating through right now, but nothing in the way of moisture. Seeing a few sprinkles back through the Ohio Valley, that's about it. But you see these red arrows pointing out of the south. That's the heat that that will be building in and there's a lot of heat to come as we go through the next several days. Let's track it on future cast for your fourth in and out of the clouds, 70s and then eventually mid 80s by the noon hour, 70s at the beaches. I think some of you will see upper 70s, uh, low 80s around Rehoboth, 88 Lewis, but a lot of interior areas in the lower 90s and then a hot and humid evening. And then we'll see clouds and maybe that chance of a stray shower as we head towards fireworks time. Today's checklist, take it slow in the heat, stay hydrated dress for summer, have water on hand, have a cold beverage, have that higher SPF sunscreen, and always have the sunglasses when it's sunny. Yes, Bob, thank you. People in parts of Texas and Mexico now are getting ready for Hurricane Barrel. Forecasters say that it's likely to rake across the Yucatan Peninsula tomorrow. It could also strengthen again before hitting northern Mexico and or parts of the U.S. Amy Kiley shows us now what forecasters are predicting and how people are preparing. We don't know exactly where it's going to land, but we, it's better to be prepared. Parts of Mexico and southern Texas are getting ready as Hurricane Barrel barrels northwest. There's a lot of down trees down back that side. It's likely to be in fairly open waters by this afternoon, leaving behind a devastated Jamaica. As a result of this downpour, a number of areas in the vicinity is without electricity. Forecasters expect Barrel to spend most of tomorrow in the Yucatan, probably weakening over land. They say it could then pick up power in the Gulf of Mexico. Shell and BP say they're evacuating non-essential personnel from parts of that area. After that, Barrel could hit Texas and or northern Mexico. Right, this alligator sanctuary on South Padre Island is keeping animals someplace safe from the weather. She started coming towards us. We, we just came towards her. It's, uh, it's the rest of them, and especially once you catch the first one out, out of a pond, they kind of catch on to what you're trying to do. The move is so the gators don't get hurt or get out and hurt people. What do you think when you're approaching Big Padre and you're going to put this little bit of tape right around the front of his snout? I hope Jake got it. I hope Jake's got him with that snare. That's what I think. And, and this he did. This time he had it. Oh, yeah. It. One, two, three. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Well, if you've driven along the coast any time this week, you've already seen it. The roads are slow going as thousands of visitors head our way. In fact, it's already projected to be a record travel weekend. Coast TV's Charlie Sakaitis shows us a look at what you can expect and how best to get around. Here on Delmarva, we have incredible, beautiful beaches and a great 4th of July weather forecast for us. And that can only mean one thing. The coast is a destination hotspot this year. 
We're all from uh, different areas. I'm from Virginia. He's from PA, West Virginia, Ohio. But it also means one other thing. We are going to be slammed with holiday traffic. According to AAA, nearly 71 million Americans will be on the move this weekend, and a staggering 60.6 million of those people are expected to make the trip in their car. It's going to be very overpopulated this season, and with everything, with work, going to and from work, it, it's going to be hard. If you're one of the many hitting the road over the next few days, AAA says the best time to travel is before noon and the worst times to travel are between 2 and 7. Basically, the earlier or the later you go, the better. But we usually travel late at night um, from Virginia, uh, around 8 or 9 o'clock at night, and we don't seem to have too much troubles getting into Delaware. So whether you're one of the people set to hit the road and head out of town, or you're one of those that will just have to deal with everybody else heading this way. Make sure you're prepared for uh, delays no matter where you might be. Because when you want to enjoy the coast, the toll on your time while you're driving is just the price you have to pay. All right, well, Charlie is right. Be careful out there. Now as we move on, Sussex County released their DUI checkpoint locations and times for this holiday weekend. Drivers, be aware there will be a checkpoint on Route 24 near Millsboro. This checkpoint will be from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. on both July 5th and 6th. Also, Maryland State Police, they're taking measures, of course, to keep roads safe. According to state police, troopers will be ramping up their patrols throughout the weekend. Troopers from Salisbury, Berlin, and Easton Barracks will increase their patrols on Routes 50, 13, and 413. And with an expected increase in people drinking alcohol over the next few days, MSP recommends pick a sober driver, and also consider public transit or rideshare services. In the nation's summer capital, you can watch fireworks on the beach on July 6. That begins at dusk. Rehoboth Avenue eastbound and Church Street from Route 1 will be closed to traffic beginning at 8, and cars entering Rehoboth Beach, they'll have to enter through State Road to Bayard Avenue. In Ocean City, there will be two fireworks displays tonight. You can watch those displays at Northside Park and the Bay, the other display will be at Caroline Street. Those events both kick off at 8 with music and they'll be followed by the fireworks at 9.30. The inlet parking lot heads up that will be open, but the parking rate will be increased to $5 an hour for the day. Several locations are closed for parking. Those can all be found on our website, coasttv.com. And today the Bidens as well, they're hosting an Independence Day celebration at the White House. The Vice President and the Second Gentleman also set to attend. Other guests include active duty military, service members, veterans, and their families. Afterwards, President Joe Biden and the First Lady will join their family to watch fireworks over the National Mall after sunset. Well, now, of course, as we celebrate our nation's birthday, the Maryland State Fire Marshal is reminding us, use fireworks safely. Here are some key safety tips to keep in mind while you enjoy the holiday. Fire Marshal says, don't ever try to relate a dud. All you got to do, put them in a bucket of water. Don't waste your time. It's also important, move away quickly after you light the fireworks, and please keep children away from fireworks. This includes sparklers. Finally, never light fireworks if you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Delaware has received a number of grants, but now there are some concerns that one organization is misusing the funds. Code Purple Kent County is an organization aimed at providing resources and help to those in need. But at the beginning of June, a state auditor wrote a letter to Attorney General Kathy Jennings with some concerns there may be potential fraud. To see you, think what that letter says, you can go to coasttv.com. The Laurel Board of Education has reinstated Dr. Sean Laramore as the superintendent following an arrest in May. According to police, this was the suspicion of driving under the influence. The board said that Dr. Laramore has taken significant time to reflect and meet the expectations of the board and the community as a whole. Laramore will return to work on Monday, July 8th. Another woman is now accusing Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault in a new lawsuit. The 114-page complaint is from a former adult film star, Adria English. She says she worked for Combs from 2004 to 2009. In the complaint, she accuses Combs and other defendants of using her as, quote, a sexual pawn. This is the ninth lawsuit against Combs since November. It's the eighth directly accusing him of sexual assault. 
Well, we still have a little more news to get to this morning on Coast TV News Today. Still ahead, electric grid gripe. We're telling you what the Lewis Board of Public Works says they fear ahead of the hurricane season on the coast. And Dewey Town Hall upgrades the next steps after a $1 million grant was received by the town. Stick with us here on Coast TV News Today. Thinking of remodeling your home's exterior? Leaving your home uncared for can lead to future damages and costly repairs. Don't chance it! And it. Whether it's building your outdoor dream deck or updating your home's roof or siding, we provide quality craftsmanship for all your home remodeling needs. Our experienced consultants will ease you through the process from the initial phone call to the installation so you can find a look you'll love for years to come. Call us today and ask about our summer specials. Don't chance it! And dance it! For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Your getaway starts where it all began, Pennsylvania. A place with a thousand experiences that'll have you coming back for seconds. And they're just down the road. See the big bell right beside bigger battlefields? Go around the next bend and you'll find world-class cuisine, great lakes, and grand canyons. Small towns with big reputations and white water right next to calming waters. Come visit Pennsylvania, the great American getaway. There's a difference between a great golf setting and a setting for great golf. Unbelievable. This isn't just the Open. It's golf as it's meant to be. The Open Championship on NBC and Peacock. Part of the greatest summer of golf. 6.43 on this 4th of July morning. Tunnel and Razor Cam, just some wispy clouds out there. 72 in Lewis, and we're in the 60s and low 70s right now. And we're getting more in the way of humidity as we have a bit of a southerly breeze and just some clouds floating through from time to time. That's about it. Looking at a beautiful day as the flow is picking up out of the south. It's going to be a hot and humid 4th of July. Quickly warming through the 80s to around 91 later on. Have fun, but take a slow in the heat stay hydrated looking great for the cookouts and for the fireworks maybe a few stray showers more in your holiday forecast coming up looking forward to it bob thank you in dewey beach an update on the plans for the new town hall police station and paramedic facility the town manager says that dewey beach was granted one million dollars in this year's delaware bond bill the town manager saying the plans for the new buildings have been submitted to the county for review and once the plans are approved, the town manager says they will then go out for bid. If you're driving on the beach today, there's some information you'll want to be made aware of. State Parks asks visitors, take out all your trash. Only use designated crossings to protect dunes and the wildlife. And they're also asking just to ensure that your surf fishing permit is valid. If you have any last minute change of plans, day of cancellations will be accepted until 4 o'clock. That's to allow someone else to fish. We have more information about how to reserve a spot on coasttv.com. For any Milton locals, the Farmer's Market will have an Independence Day celebration July 5th. Those festivities begin at 3.30 at Grace Church. Vendors will be there as well with plenty of family-friendly activities taking place all day. All right, maybe it's been a rough week, maybe it's been a good week. Either way, you can cheer up with a weekly dose of good news from Coast TV with personal features, fun things to do, and more. Just to lighten up your week, all you got to do, subscribe to Coast TV Feel Good Friday newsletter at coasttv.com slash sign up. You'll get a weekly dose of joy sent directly to your inbox. And weather-wise, I think we're feeling good about our fourth so far. Got our helmet cam. Looking at some wispy clouds, but a beautiful start to the day in Ocean View and elsewhere. And we've got building heat and humidity for the 4th of July holiday weekend. All in all dry, a few chances of showers and storms. Not a washout by any means. I'll have your holiday forecast in detail coming up in two minutes. NBC News Daily, weekdays at 1 on Coast TV.
When you're close to the land and the sea, you can taste the goodness. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market brings farms closer to tables. Meet the growers, talk to the people that milk the cows, and pick the perfect peaches. Organically grown fruits and vegetables, sustainable meats and eggs, A2 dairy products, artisan breads, and fresh local seafood. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market is in the park every Saturday from 8 to noon and at Crooked Hammock Brewery every Wednesday from 8 to 11.30 a.m. A wet crawl space is a lurking hazard, inviting mold, rot, and structural worries. The answer is Brazier's Crawl Space Encapsulation. Our specialist tailors the solution to your exact crawl space. Our expert team cleans and upgrades your crawl space into a pristine, protected environment. And we only use April Air dehumidifiers, reliable and robust, complete with a five-year warranty. Take the first step to a drier, safer home. Call Brazier's or visit our website. Your peace of mind is just one call away. This is the big moment here. It is just a work of art. Effortless yeah. great. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh baby. Wow. Oh, oh baby. Boy, was that good. The style, the flow, she's got it all going for her right now. That's jaw-dropping. Incredible. Excellence and swagger. I'm just sitting here in awe. Weather brought to you by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, dedicated to excellence in Delaware and Maryland. Coastal Comfort knows there's no place like home. It's where we can be totally comfortable. Totally comfortable being ourselves, making a mess, making improvements, making strides, making memories with those we love, totally. Big or small, at the beach or on the farm, all along the Eastern Shore, it's home. And Coastal Comfort is always here to keep you totally comfortable. Coastal Comfort, a Carrier Factory authorized dealer serving Maryland and Delaware. Carrier, turn to the experts. It's now 6.47 on your 4th of July morning. We are gonna take a live look now at Laurel where the sun is like, ooh, it's like smooth, like a painting, Bob. Looks yeah, good. looking nice. It's going to be a great 4th of July page. And uh, I don't think we'd have it any other way for the weather today. Maybe a little cooler, lower humidity, but all in all, not bad. Of course, a lot of folks out by the pool, by the ocean, and maybe grilling as well. If you're throwing some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill, well, throw some on for me as well. At noon, 87, partly cloudy, 91 at 3, partly cloudy, and by 6, 89. And of course, you're by that grill, it's going to be even hotter. Hotter. So you know, make sure you have a towel to maybe wipe your brow and stay hydrated with water. It's going to be a hot one. Temperature wise, we're looking at 60s and low 70s this morning and a southerly breeze. Not too strong, but that will continue to bring in the warmth and humidity from the south as we're looking at some high clouds that are building in now. And you have more of those clouds back to the west, maybe just a few sprinkles across West Virginia and Pennsylvania. But you see these red arrows to our south. That's high pressure is sliding away and the flow around that high is bringing in that heat and humidity and we've got a building heat dome back to our west and that will keep our heat going right into the weekend. Here's future cast this morning. We're in the 70s and then eventually lower 80s by about 10 o'clock 70s at the coast. So you'll be a little cooler there today at one o'clock. We're approaching 90 many interior areas while we're in the low to mid 70s at the beaches and around 75 Bethany Beach, uh, 80 in Rehoboth, 88 in Lewis and then we've got some lower 90s inland areas and some clouds at times and I think some of those clouds could get a little thicker this evening as we're in the 80s and around fireworks time as I've been mentioning we could see a few scattered showers don't think it's going to cancel any fireworks displays but there is that possibility and then it's just mild and muggy the rest of the overnight Friday morning we're in the 70s and then by tomorrow lots of sunshine and even hotter we're already in the lower 90s shortly afternoon with the beaches staying a little cooler and around 92 to 94 by Friday evening. So it is going to be hot and Saturday, another hot day, a very muggy and mild start. I think we have a better chance of seeing some showers and storms into the afternoon on Saturday. Maybe some heavy rain and gusty winds. Watch out for that. Feels like temperatures today, low to mid 90s, and then we're in the lower triple digits tomorrow. Even worse on Saturday, feeling like 100 to 103. But those heat indices back off a little bit on Sunday. Here's Hurricane 
hurricane barrel working its way into the Cayman Islands right now, and it's uh, dealing with some dry air and shear, but it could be a Category 1 hurricane by uh, Friday morning as it makes landfall near Belize, and then it's over the Yucatan Peninsula, and maybe it does strengthen again to around a Category 1 south of Texas, so it looks like it could bring them some heavier rain as we go into the early part of next week. We could use some of that rain around here, not during the holiday weekend, however. Paul, they have a seven-day forecast, lower 90s today, right through Sunday. Maybe that shower chance tonight, and then isolated on Friday, 92. A better chance of those storms later Saturday. It dries out Sunday and Monday, and then more storms again Tuesday, and slightly cooler Wednesday, 88, with a few storms. All right, well, we needed the rain, Bob. Thank you so much. Well, hurricane season, as we know, it's around the corner in our area. The Lewis Board of Public Works says that they fear now for its electric infrastructure. At a recent meeting, the BPW emphasized that while Lewis only saw about 28 outages last year, it's urgent that with increasing coastal storms, reinforcements are made. As a result, the board voted to disband the mitigation committee, and they will form a new group specifically for the future of the electrical system. You can't necessarily build a system that will withstand those type of storms, but you can build systems that are more resilient under a Category 3 hurricane. The Lewis BPW is looking for people with knowledge of electrical distribution and transmission generation for this new committee. The time is now 6.51 this morning. It's time now to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. Today's Coastal Pet of the Day, taking full advantage of boating season on your screen right now is Esmeralda. This coastal cutie likes to go fishing and crabbing. Maybe she's doing some of that today. Esmeralda, Esmeralda was sent to us by her family in Millsboro. Great photo and the flag flying there, perfect for today. Don't forget, we want to keep seeing all your pets on Delmarva. Keep sending us those adorable photos and telling us what makes your pet so special. Scan that QR code right there on the screen. You can also submit your furry friends to us by going to coasttv.com slash pets and watch weekdays from 5 to 7. You'll see all the pets we feature. And we're seeing activity picking up at the beaches. Look at the seagull flying by. Folks at the beach already on this 4th of July. 68 in Rehoboth. We're heading for the 80s and 90s today. The heat and humidity building in for the holiday weekend. A few showers and storms. Nothing all that heavy. It won't wash away your plans. I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up next. When you're ready to build an extraordinary custom home or an exceptional commercial building, Brendan T. Warfel is here for you. From high-end residential homes to customized commercial facilities, Brendan T. Warfel will provide you with honest and upfront pricing, personal service, and stunning finished products. Choose quality. Choose Brendan T. Warfel. I build every home as if my family's going to live in it. If my name's going on it, it's going to be done right. I guarantee it. With Brendan T. Warfel, excellence comes standard. Are you tired of rust stains, funny smells, and floaties? Are you concerned about contaminants in your water? City or well, call Shore Water Refining. We'll perform a comprehensive water analysis and offer a cost-effective solution in less than 48 hours. From whole house systems with water softeners designed for Delmarva to reverse osmosis bottle quality water right at your sink. Shore Water Refining, family owned and operated for over 50 years. Call or visit us online at shorewaterde.com today. In our coastal communities, every wave has a tail. Coast TV brings these stories home from the smallest shell in Ocean City to the lighthouse in Lewis. What happens here matters. Every moment, every detail is a chapter in our shared story. We're your neighbors, your friends, woven into the very sands of our community. Our stories are your stories, reflecting the heart and soul of our coastal life. Coast TV, our community, your news, where every story hits close to home. Well, this is it, Ryan. What do you think? Impressive pack. Ryan Seacrest is getting ready to take the wheel. I think what you're going to enjoy most is meeting the players and getting to know the audience at home. And people feel like they know you, even though they've never met you before. Because we play ourselves on TV, not a character. This is what you're like in real life, in the wild? 
Well, not dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Seacrest joins Fanna White this fall on Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune on Coast TV. It's now 6.55. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. Parts of Mexico and southern Texas are getting ready as Hurricane Barrel continues northwest. It's likely to be in fairly open waters by this afternoon. Forecasters expect Barrel to spend most of tomorrow in the Yucatan, probably weakening over land. But they say it could also then pick up power in the Gulf of Mexico. After that, Barrel could hit Texas and or northern Mexico. According to AAA, nearly 71 million Americans will be on the move this weekend. A staggering 60.6 .6 million of those people are going to make their trip in their car. So if you're one of the many taking the roads this weekend or over the next few days, AAA says the best time to travel is before noon, the worst times between 2 and 7. So the earlier or the later you go, the better. Another woman is accusing Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault in a new lawsuit. The 114-page complaint is from former adult film star Adria English, who says she worked for Combs from 2004 until 2009. And in the complaint, she accuses Combs and other defendants of using her as, quote, a sexual pawn. This is now the ninth lawsuit against Combs since November. It's the eighth directly accusing him of sexual assault. 6.56 now. It's time for a quick look at your forecast before you head out the door. Bob, we really couldn't have wished for a better 4th of July, huh? No. No, it's, you know, hot as a proverbial firecracker later today, Paige. So looking great, great for the outdoor activities, the cookouts, hanging out by the pool, all that good stuff. We're warming up quickly this morning through the 70s and into the 80s. And by early afternoon around 2 o'clock, 91, but feeling like mid-90s with the heat index. And by 8 o'clock, 82. And for the fireworks, maybe Maybe a few stray showers, otherwise just dry and hot the next few days. Paul Davis 10 day forecast lower 90s right through the rest of the holiday weekend. I think we're dry Friday, maybe a better chance of some storms later Saturday than dry Sunday, Monday, then more storms next week. But temperatures do start to cool off, especially by the end of the week into next weekend when we're in the mid 80s. Bob, thank you so much and thank you all for joining us on Coast TV News today. Today shows at 7 and we'll be back with Coast TV News midday at 11. Have a fantastic 4th of July, everybody.